Yo, yo, what up, Fight Fans? It's your boy, Joe Martini, getting up bright and early, um, February 28th, uh, to give you a little preview. I'm a little late on this preview. Uh, we're gonna have some three fights in, um, in Tokyo, Japan, uh, in the middle of the week, caught me off guard, just getting up, man, trying to give this pre preview, because it's a championship fight. And um, I've covered the last 57 championship fights in a row. So, for you know, forgive me for being unprepared, man. But it's the middle of the week. You know, brother's got to work. But uh, here it is, man. The One of the three fights that's going to happen is um, Ryosuke Iwasa. Ryosuke Iwasa. He's going to be defending his... Um, IBF Junior Featherweight title against a guy named Ernesto. So long. <laughs> you gotta love the last names. You know, his nickname should have been Just Too So Long or something. Or, or Real So Long. Something, something crazy. I don't know, man. It's early. Sorry. Um, but anyway, man, we're gonna go right to the uh, opinion, man, on these fighters. Um, Ryuki Owasa has only two losses in his career, and he's lost to world champions. One of them was Lee Haskins, and the other one was Shinsuke Yamanaka. Now, that's going to be the main event here in Tokyo that this evening. But um, and that, and that loss to Yamanaka was early in his career. You know, and he just won a title in his last fight, this world title that he's got. Um, I think he's going to defeat Ernesto Salong. Cause it's Ernesto's first fight in Japan. It's his first uh, crack at a world title, uh, and almost half his opponents have a losing record. And plus, this guy's a top 50 fighter going up against a world champion. So, you know, uh, he's gonna lose. Um, you can't be nicknamed Chocolate. His nickname is Chocolate. You can't call yourself Chocolate and have two losses. All right, your boy Martini.